Rosser United, welcome to Chapter 3 of Ancient Civilizations. We're going to start our studies on Mesopotamia and the Fertile Crescents, kind of the start of civilization. This is Lesson 1, the geography of the Fertile Crescent. Uh, we want to understand that the valleys of the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers were the sites of the world's first civilization. So it's important to know where they are and what we mean by the Fertile Crescent. So first of all, Mesopotamia. This is a Greek term from ancient Greece. Meso means between, if you think about Mesolithic, the Middle Stone Ages. So Meso is kind of middle or between the rivers. The Fertile Crescent is a region in what we know today as the Middle East. So countries like Israel, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Kuwait, Iran, Saudi Arabia. This is Mesopotamia. It's an area that lies between desert, the Syrian desert, and the mountains, so the Taurus and the uh, Zagros Mountains. Here's the Tigris River, and here's the Euphrates River. So this is what we consider uh, modern-day Iraq. M water would flow off of the mountains after snow and ice would melt during the seasons and run downhill towards the desert and collect in these rivers. Annual flooding from melting snow off the mountains would create silt. That's a richer mix of uh, soil and tiny rocks. This is great to help plants grow. This is exactly what plants need. The first farm settlements appeared in Mesopotamia around 9,000 years ago, so about 7,000 BC. Mesopotamian farmers, they grew wheat and barley and grains. They also had um, an easier time growing cattle, birds, and fish, and they were plenty of them because of all these great water sources. Plenty of food sources meant you had population growth, and when you have more people and you have more towns, you get civilization. The area doesn't get a lot of rainfall, even though it gets a lot of water, so farmers need to create ways to get water from those rivers to their farms. This is the start of irrigation. It's a way of supplying water to an area of land. So they would dig these man-made canals from the rivers, and they would bring those canals to their farms. They would split them up like this. Irrigation meant Mesopotamian farmers could make more food than they really needed. There was more food than there was people. Anytime you have more of something than you really need, you have a surplus of that, an amount more than what you need. Now, because food wasn't an issue, the Mesopotamians could focus on other jobs, like builders, like religious and government leaders. They were able to split up people's work based on what they could do better. This is a division of labor, where every worker has a specific task to perform. Because they were able to focus on individual jobs and skills, groups could build larger projects. But in order to build these larger buildings and irrigation systems and projects, you needed a lot of resources. So you needed leadership to oversee this construction. You needed governments. You needed laws. By the time these towns grew into larger groups, we know them now as cities around 6,000 years ago, 4,000 BC. These cities were central locations. People could meet together. More people could meet together. They could trade goods in a set location, and they could gather their power and influence. So to summarize, you, you have this great location in Mesopotamia between these great rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. And their ability to gather resources led to the creation of the world's very first cities. Okay. I want to do a quick vocab check. So take a look at all of these terms in black and try to see if you can match them up with the terms in blue. Pause here and hit play once you're ready to check your guesses. Go. Let's start with silt, which is what we refer to as that mixture of rich soil and tiny rocks. Cities were political, religious, cultural and economic centers of civilizations. They still are to this very day. A division of labor is a type of arrangement in which each worker specializes in a particular task or job. You divide the labor among people who can do the jobs better. The Tigris and the Euphrates river valleys were the site of the world's first civilization. The term Mesopotamia comes from Greek and it means between the rivers and a region in Southwest Asia. Irrigation is the process of supplying water to an area of land. The large arc of rich farmland that extends from the Persian Gulf to the Mediterranean Sea is the Fertile Crescent. Arc, there's your key to Crescent. And finally, um, the division of labor also, I don't know if you caught this, allowed people to do their jobs other than farming. Surplus was not needed here. 